everyone. Welcome back to Trade Without Fear Forex. In this video, we are going to look at the order block. The order block will help you to know the smart money entry. An order block is a defined area where the buyers or sellers of smart money enter the market and move the price away from its price level to a new area of interest. The market is engineered by smart money by means of creating levels within the marketplace for them to use at a later date and time. That is why even using natural support or resistance, you can see a uh, support or resistance of three years back can be used in current markets. We started with natural uh, support or resistance. Then previous video was about implied support or resistance where we look at the Fibonacci. If you haven't watched these videos, please, uh, see the playlist in the description and go watch these videos because they will help you to know these areas of reaction and in this case it's going to add the odds in your trades. An order block can be identified by specific candlestick or bar that when properly viewed in institutional context can highlight smart money buying and selling. Apart from commonly used supply and demand zone, order block are very specific levels that can be refined to lower time frames to exact price levels. So the order block, if price is uh, trading to weekly order block, you can refine this weekly order block to low time frames like 15 minutes chart, one hour chart, to get the very good, uh, the smart entry. And this is same applied to natural support and resistance. You have to wait for the price to reach support and resistance, then move to lower time frame. So same applied to the order blocks because these are also support and resistance. When price is trading to these levels, you can refine to lower time frames, and I'll show you this in chart example. A bullish order block is the last bearish candle prior to the move up. So after trading to support, the last bearish candle prior to the move up is what is known as bullish order block after the move up during retracement price will retrace to this level this order block here and as you can see here after retracing here price it moved higher and bearish order block is the opposite of bullish order block it's the last bullish candle prior to the move down as you can see here this is the last bullish candle prior to this move down so price after breaking this uh, fractal law here, it retraced back to the order block and continued lower. Now let's see how to trade by using the order blocks. Always you have to remember the higher time frame market structure. The market structure, before looking at any indicator or any strategy, you have to pay attention to the market structure, high time frame market structure. Before looking at 15 minutes chart, one hour chart, four hours chart, make sure you know what is going on on monthly, weekly, and daily. Then it is when after identifying the high time frame market structure, it is when you apply all these things that you are learning. Then how to select the order block, select an order block with the most body and not weeks. So if you see a structure that has so many weeks in between, and on the left, you see the order block the bullish candle although sometimes this law can be below this order block here so when choosing order block we'd be looking for last bullish candle a uh, bearish candle in this case here the bullish order block so sometimes you'll use the wrong order block if you choose the order block with with most weeks so if you have the structure like this that has weeks in the middle then on the left there is a big order big candle that has the most body you can choose the uh candle with the most body as your order block and not the weeks and same apply to the bearish order block when price is retesting an order block expect a price to bounce off at higher of bullish order block or lower of bearish order block but middle of the order block is the last point of retracement when looking for entries if price breaks the order block then find another order block because this one will, uh, will be invalid. And I'll show this in chat example. Just like other natural support and resistance, before trading to the actual order block, 
and reverse, most of the time price will fake the reversal, then continue to an order block and give the real uh, move to the direction of the first fake move. And we've seen this in uh, uh, natural support and resistance in uh, Fibonacci. So this is the nature when price is trading to the support and resistance before reaching the support, most of the time it will give you the fake bounce, then trading to support and continue. That is why we see intermediate term low and high all the head and shoulder, inverted head and shoulder or head and shoulder pattern. Stop loss is just above bearish order block and below bullish order block. So in this example here, you can see this is the order block here, the last bearish candle. And this middle, the middle of the order block is the last point of reference when looking for entries. Most of the time price will retrace on top at the high of this bullish uh, bearish candle here for bullish order block. It will trace at high of this candle and continue higher. Or if it penetrates, it'll go, it, it will go to the middle of this range. But if it goes below this uh, range here, then this order block will be, you, you'll have to look for another order block on the left. And or you can use other support resistance. If they confirm the entry, then you can take that. But most of the time, if that happens, then you have to look for other order block. And when taking entries, stop loss, it, it, it will be uh, right below the bearish order block and above the bullish order block. When the major high or low is formed, look for fair value order block in the mid of the range because most of the time price will not retest the highest or lowest of the order block. So if price has traded to the area of support and give you something like this, the first uh, first move then trade to support and give a very big bounce here. But as price is moving higher, most of the time it will be creating uh, the short-term swings, then continue higher. So when you identify the area like this, when price made the major low or high, you look for the order blocks within this range here, the fair value. And most of the time it will form uh, under equilibrium or the 50 Fibonacci level. Or for those who are trading market maker methods, the level two straight away, most of the time it will be like this. So you'll be looking for price to retreat back to this order block here and not this one here. When trading with order blocks, use other indicators like Fibonacci, moving averages, natural support and resistance, or any other indicator you are using as well to confirm your trading decisions. And also sometimes price will not trade to an order block and miss it by few pips. If there is another support and resistance like Fibonacci, natural support and resistance, moving averages, you can take that trade. Always cut through the candles in the current price range and see if there are previous order blocks on the left because these levels are important. So if market is trading within this range here, you have to look on the left. If you see all the order blocks, the bullish order block or bearish order block, all these levels are reaction levels. So you have to see on the left if price is near these levels as these levels may act as good uh, support and resistance in the current market price. And I'll show this in chat examples. So always cut through the candles. Now let's see the chart example. And this is USDJPY, this is weekly chart. And you can see here, prior to this move down, this was the last bullish candle. So this is bearish order block. When price moved down, it retraced to these levels here. Then this level always extend these lines because these levels can be used in the future. So you can see after this big movement, after market structure was broken here because you have to wait for the most recent swing to be broken. Then after this move, price retraced back to the order block. And you can use other tools like Fibonacci or natural support and resistance to make sure that these entries are going in line. For example, here you can see price retreat exactly to the 79 retracement level, which is also in line with the bearish order block and it traded lower. 
And another example, this is, is another order block. Prior to this move down, this was the last bullish candle. Then after breaking these recent lows here, but not this one here, after breaking these recent lows here, price retreated back to this. So if you miss this entry here, you can take entry here because it is within, remember the 50% of this order block with your last reference for looking, looking for entries. Then it traded back to this level and it went down. As it is moving down, remember, this is another last bullish candle prior to this move down here. See what happened. Price retreated, uh, retested back to these levels and it went uh, lower. It is moving lower. This is last bullish candle prior to the move down here. See what happens. Price come, came back to retest these levels and continue down. So these are very good candles when looking for entries and they can be used in all the time frames. For example, here you can see this is daily chart. We started with weekly, this is daily. And in daily here in the current market, previous week, this is USD JPY. Uh, you can see price, this was the last bearish candle prior to the move up. That means this is the bullish order block. After almost five months, price retested to the order block here, to the bullish order block here. And see what happened, it gave a nice reaction. And when you move to low time frames, you'll get the clear order block. See, as you move to low time frame, after trading to this uh, uh, support here, in four hours, you can see you had the pattern, you had the order block here. And as you're moving to low, lowest time frame, like a uh, one hour chart, you can see how you, you get good entries by refining this order block. You had another order block here after trading to the support, after this reaction here, you have the break here, then see price retreated to this high of this order block here and went higher. And when you move to lowest time frames, like 15 minutes chart, you are going to get even uh, good entries. As you can see here, this is the case where uh, when the lowest low or highest high is formed, most of the time market will not trade to these levels and they will trace to this fair value gap, uh, fair value area here. So the order block are very important candles and when you, you know how to use Fibonacci or natural support and resistance, it is easy to use the order blocks because these are specific candlesticks you can simply go to the charts and look for uh, the swing highs and low and see, for example, here, after this move down, see the last bearish candle and mark that area in this area, this candle here. See what happened. Price retreated back to these levels and it went lower. And you have to use another indicators. It can be moving average. It can be uh, natural support and resistance, or any indicator to confirm your entries. You have to go through the charts and see these order blocks. Practice, uh, for example, here, you can see price was trading here. And when you look to the left, we have this order block. Oh, let me use this uh, zone here. You can see how these levels useful are. Prior to this move here, this was the last bearish candle. It's a fair, but it's within this range here. But all these order blocks within these ranges are useful in the future. You see how price reacts to these levels. So cut through the candles, see if there is potential level on the left and use that uh, area when, filter that area when looking for entries. And this is the end of order block video. In coming video, we are going to see other support resistance. Thank you so much. Until next time.